Oh my goodness. They are cute, they are cute. They're almost like chipmunks when they're small. Oh, and I don't even think about the hot weather affecting them like this. That's crazy. Well, for us, it'll stay actually pretty warm, even though we have rain in the forecast. We'll take a look at Storm Tracker right now. We don't have anything yet. The clouds are thickening up, but there's actually a, I would call it an out of season storm system. You don't really see this too often in the summer on the East Coast, but it's a huge area of rain that's moving to the north. Uh, coming through DC and New Jersey and Pennsylvania right now and this will come overhead, especially in the morning hours tomorrow. But then there's a lot of moisture back off to the west. All of that is for the next several days. So we are just stuck with a pretty wet pattern here going forward. It's still 75 in Burlington, 66 in Springfield and 70 in Saranac Lake right now. Thankfully, not much humidity. Everyone generally feels pretty comfortable with dew points in the 50s, but for tomorrow, that will change and the plan over the next 12 hours is dry through say three or four in the morning. But in the Champlain Valley, I'd say around sunrise, the showers start to come in and they'll be with us for a good portion of the day, especially in the morning. And as we go through the day, the humidity will bump up, so it shouldn't be too bad first thing. But by this time tomorrow night, it should be very humid. And as I said, temperatures stay above average despite the clouds and the rain. And by Tuesday, not totally dry, but some of us might be dry and I think that's about as good as we're going to do going forward. We really don't have many completely dry days. This is the moderate drought, this orange area. So it goes from Essex County, New York, down through central and southern Vermont and New Hampshire. So that is why we need the rain. We need to start going in the other direction, making that area smaller, the drought area that is. But it hasn't really moved too much, so it's going to take some time to really make things better. There are the showers in the morning. I think there could be a break of sunshine tomorrow afternoon, but the showers will generally continue in the higher elevations, so uh, a little less wet later on. But by Monday, it's still pretty showery and pretty cloudy. Tuesday is really the day when things will be a little different, but the other part of tomorrow is the wind. I don't think it's damaging, so that's good, but it'll definitely be gusty. 30, perhaps 40 miles per hour, especially in the downslope locations, uh, western slopes of the Green Mountains, northern Adirondacks, and it's still breezy on Monday. In terms of rain, well, it's all over the place. It really depends on luck in some cases, but generally there's been a pretty good uh, consensus this evening that south and eastern areas get the most, uh, an inch or more, but that's something we'll watch going forward. This is what happens on Tuesday. This area of high pressure pushes to the west, so I think Tuesday could be dry in Vermont and New Hampshire while the showers will be pushed over New York, but it's only a temporary stop in the showers for some 82 tomorrow in Burlington, but 70s in a lot of other places. And here's the five day forecast. We have 87 on Monday, 89 on Tuesday with a little bit of sunshine, so it's still very mild. And then we have downpours, some storms to contend with Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. At this point, it looks to be drier for the upcoming weekend, but most of the next five, most of the next six have showers in play, Renee.